Okay, so this is just a quick video on how to create a in private browsing shortcut for Microsoft Edge. If you don't know what you're doing, it can be quite difficult to do so. So I'm going to try and make it nice and easy for you. So you want to copy this and I'm going to leave this in the description box below. But essentially what it's doing is it's starting command XE and it's going to basically open Microsoft Edge. And at the end, we're passing in a little, a little option here to say private. I won't worry too much about what it says, but all we need to do is copy that command. And then we're going to right click, we're going to say new, and we're going to say shortcut. We're going to paste it in, click next, and finished. Now, don't worry, we're going to sort out this shortcut because it doesn't look like Microsoft Edge at the moment. But let's just see if it works. So let's double click on it. Absolutely perfect. So what we've got is we've got Microsoft Edge loading an in private browsing session by default. So you can be sure that whenever you click on this link, whenever you click on this shortcut, you know you're going to be in private browsing. You might want to do that because it just leaves less clutter on your browsing sessions. If you're somebody like me, I hate to load up a browser and see all of my old searches all of the old cookies and all of the old, you know, temporary internet files. It's, I feel like it junks the computer up unnecessarily. And in all honesty, ever rarely do I find that useful. So we've got the shortcut working. However, it doesn't look quite right, does it? So let's make it look more like a Microsoft Edge shortcut, shall we? So what I want you to do is click start and locate your existing shortcut. So I've got the existing shortcut actually pinned to my start menu. Uh, you may have to search for it. So just type Microsoft Edge and it will pop up. Let's have a go. Microsoft Edge. Okay, so we've found it. Brilliant. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Open File Location. So that's what you do. I'm going to do it from here. So right click, More, Open File Location. So this is the actual default Edge shortcut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say rename, I'm going to copy that. And then I'm actually going to right click our shortcut, rename and paste that. So we're getting closer, it says Microsoft Edge and it loads an in private browsing session, so that's great. However, that icon isn't quite right. So let's right click the default one, we're going to say properties, we're going to click on change icon. And what we're going to do is we're going to copy this line. And we're going to click, so you want to see this line here? Let me just show you it. This will point to where we can find the icon. And actually it's got a bunch of icons here. So you could choose one of the other ones if you wanted to. But for now, for the purpose of this video, we're going to select the default one. So as I say, select the entire thing. Control A, Control C, copy it, cancel, cancel. Right click your new shortcut and click properties. Click on change icon. And then what we're going to do you probably can guess it, paste in the one we've just copied and click enter. And then we can select the actual proper edge icon. Click OK, click OK. And now what we've got, we've got a shortcut that looks very much like the default shortcut. But actually this one will actually load an in private browsing session. You can see on the actual page here, it gives you some information about what in private does and what in private doesn't do so if you want to have a little look go ahead and have a look at that I'll let you read that in your own time um, I'll throw in another little tip here if you if you want one so let me just go ahead and find the Bing site so that's not Bing let me find the Bing site okay so here's Bing wait for it to load it's not a bad little uh, browser so search engine, it's not a bad little search engine. Um, I'm a bit funny in that if I'm loading Internet Explorer or I'm loading Edge, I kind of like using the Bing search engine just purely because it just feels right to me. Like if I'm using Chrome, I'll use Google. But anyway, let me just uh, copy this link. So we've got the URL to Bing. Close that down. Now, if you wanted to, and you might not want to, but if you wanted to load that page as default go to the end of the target after slash private click space and click control v i want you to paste that url in of course you could put whatever url you wanted in here 
uh, and click enter. And so now what will happen is when we click on our new shortcut, it will be in private browsing. You can tell because if you look in the right top hand corner, it says in private. So you can be sure that this is an in private browsing session. Uh, but you've just you've just loaded uh, Microsoft Bing as the default start page. So I think that's pretty useful. You might find it useful too. Um, you can actually go ahead if you really wanted to and actually replace the the default shortcut for Microsoft Edge. I wouldn't recommend doing that because there's going to be times when you don't want to be using in private browsing. So for example, we could go ahead and we could rename this if you wanted to, and we could call it private Microsoft Edge. That works. Um, and, that, and that's all for this video. So I hope you found it useful. If you did enjoy it, you'd be doing me a favor if you click that like button. And uh, if you want to see similar videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe and that'd be awesome. Uh, and until next time, that's all.